Welcome back to our five point explainer on climate change. Here's a five point history checklist on climate change. So in 1938, point number one, nearly will be almost 100 years ago, an amateur scientist by the name of Guy Callender discovered that the planet had warmed. He collected data from 147 weather stations from around the world and doing some calculations worked out that global temperatures had risen by 0.3 degrees Celsius over the previous 50 years. He postulated that the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from industrial activity was responsible for this warming. Now, before we go further, let's clarify what we mean by global warming or now what we call climate change. When we say temperatures have risen, we are talking about the mean average temperature rise. This means parts of the world could be cooling while other parts of the world could be getting hotter. But the mean average shows a rise because the world does not cool or warm uniformly. So it's actually getting warmer. You might ask, what is the problem? It's kind of like your temperature. At 37.5 degrees Celsius, the body temperature is normal, but it goes up by 1.5 degrees Celsius and suddenly your, te your thermometer shows you 39 degrees Celsius. You have a fever. You're going to do everything to try and fix that fever, but that's not what we're doing with this planet, which has a fever. So point number two, following on from the 1938 discovery in 1958, Dr. Keeling proved that carbon dioxide levels were absolutely responsible for this rising temperature. This was the first time someone attempted to measure the levels of carbon dioxide in the air and in the water. He took measurements and could in five years show that carbon dioxide was rising. More importantly, he could by analyzing the carbon dioxide in his samples, link this rise to the burning of fossil fuels. His studies were located at the Mauna Loa Weather Observatory in Hawaii. And since then, there have been daily readings from there. And it is the longest running study of CO2. So we knew all the way back, nearly by 1965, that fossil fuels and carbon dioxide were linked and that carbon dioxide emissions led to temperature rise, leading to climate change. Point number three, in 1967, Earth's changing climate was modeled for the first time. They predicted that a doubling of the carbon dioxide levels from pre-industrial times would lead to that two degrees Celsius rise in temperatures. This finding has proven accurate as our carbon dioxide rise since pre-industrialized times has been 50%. So half that rise has already happened and we are at 1.2 degrees Celsius rise right now. Point number four. In 1968, a scientist called Dr. Mercer was working in the Antarctic and he discovered the remains of a lake at 1,400 meters high in the Transantarctic Mountains. He took this to mean that a never before thought about event had occurred, that of the melting of the entire Western Antarctic ice sheet. He found evidence that 120,000 years ago, sea levels were six to seven meters higher than present day, and temperatures were about six degrees higher in summer in the Antarctic. He then warned that rising temperatures could destabilize ice sheets and cause sea levels to rise. There were, as usual, skeptics, but in 1995, the massive Larsen A ice shelf collapsed. Then in 2002, Larsen B followed, and in 2017, a major rift occurred in Larsen C. Point number five, in 1969, Earth's temperatures were measured by a satellite for the first time. In 1985, a hole was discovered in the ozone layer over the South Pole. And as the ozone layer protects us from harmful UV radiation from the sun, that was alarming. It was determined that chlorofluorocarbons were responsible for this hole. And that's when the Montreal Protocol of 1987 came into being. This was one of the most successful protocols as countries around the world came together, took this seriously and created a total ban on CFCs. And that has healed the ozone layer since. In 1994, the first climate change legislation came into force. 197 countries signed up to the first global treaty to combat climate change. And this was the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC the first international treaty designed to limit greenhouse gas emissions and prevent climate change. It entered into force on 21st March 1994.